We are uh, in what we call an urban oasis. This used to be actually um, a housing project called Wheat Street Gardens. We feel it's very significant that this is what we're doing to continue that legacy because food, clothing, and shelter are basic human rights, you know. We're here with Data Science for Social Good to help out Truly Living Well. It's this urban agricultural um, group and they're just trying to set up farms within the city that are accessible to people in, in food deserts. But they need help managing their data that, so they can be more efficient, so they can track their growth and expand in a sustainable way. And so that's what we're here to do. The data would also allow us to create scale. You know, all right, this is how much we grew this year, this is how much we sold, this is how much went to compost. How do we balance out those numbers or how do we take the numbers that we want to go up and make them go up? How do we want the ones we want to go down, go down? Uh, in general, we want to be able to, to take our farm from a farm that's more grant and institution and foundation dependent and make it more product and services dependent. So easy, look. You don't even need a pair of shears. It's like paper almost. Mm -hmm. yeah, so take your hand. Take it. Try. I remember See, I was look at that. Woo, easy, huh? This is, I know, the right? That, you see, these are the, where the seeds will come from. Oh. See we can sit there. in like our thinking room and just try to come up with the questions we think they might want to ask or the forms or solutions that we think they might need. But until we came out here, I don't think we really realized like they're farmers and they kind of know what they need. They just don't have it all in the same place and in an accessible format. Yeah. The weather makes a big difference. So you got radishes that, by this, on paper, should have been done in 28 days, and it's taken 50 days. Yeah. And then so that throws everything off. And so it's totally reshaped, for me at least, what I think I need to go do when I go back, just to come out here and talk to the actual people who will use the products and services we're trying to create.